off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay What day is it? First day of school. She's the last one home and the only one I'm gonna capture. <laughs> Everyone else is either at school, Abby, at Chelsea, and, well, Ashley have school today, and Kaylee has work. She doesn't start college yet. Okay, Ashley, am I taking you to the bus stop after today? No. No, I'm not. Do you want me to or no? no. Yeah. She's in fifth grade. Can you guys believe it? And this is my last time taking her to the bus stop. You'd think my day would be fun now, but as is proof of the laundry on the stairs that I threw down, that won't necessarily be the case. Except I do have a clean kitchen, minus that one cup. Actually, there's dishes in the sink. But I put them out of sight out of mind, out of sight. I actually got this little tray thing at Target the other day and I got those little wooden things at the Bunko night um, as a gift. So I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and gift myself some flowers to go on here. Maybe I'll do a puzzle today. We put both of them back in the box so maybe I'll do one by myself. But first I have like four loads of laundry. You think I got caught up over the weekend? Towels, sheets, my clothes, the little girl's clothes. In a couple hours, and I went ahead and edited a video and made myself lunch. But I don't think we're all going to eat that bread, that blueberry bread, at the same time for dinner or breakfast. So I just went ahead and made it for myself. I think Kaylee made some herself this morning um, and then used the leftover eggs from the French toast. So they don't look too appealing, but I'm sure they'll taste just fine some um, raspberries, a little bit of milk, and my carrot juice, if you want to call it that. <laughs> All right, you know what doesn't end um, with kids going back to school? Motherhood. <laughs> Kaylee texted me about an hour ago and she was like, hey mom, it's Jacob's birthday coming up soon, but he needs one of my gifts um, now before the football season starts. So can you go get it for me and wrap it for me? and bring it to me to work. <laughs> sure daughter, I will. So to Jacob who's getting this gift today, happy birthday early. She wants him to have this helmet tracker. Um, includes stand up display for regular season standings so that he can use it during his fantasy football and as the season um, starts. So hopefully he gets this today and doesn't see this video. Otherwise, I will blur out whatever I just got him so he doesn't see it in this video. Luckily, I already have bags. I was gonna go to the dollar store because I wasn't gonna try and wrap this. There's, there's no wrapping that. And I don't have a shoe box, surprisingly. I do not have a shoe box. So, I'm gonna put some more tissue paper in here and then we're gonna take that to Kaylee. She has her lunch break in 19 minutes. So I'm gonna run that up to her. Um, and then I also got my medicine. Remember how I told you the other day that my medication has run out and my pharmacy, <laughs> this is such a big box for what it is. Um, my doctor contacted a pharmacy at a hospital, put it over in Spokane, found the medication for me, it's literally three injection um, injection pens in this gigantic box. But because it has to be refrigerated, they had to like, I'm sure there's ice in here or something. Okay, here's the needles. I actually don't need needles, but I think it's just an automatic thing with the prescription. Um, here's all the little, I'm assuming that's got ice in it. All right, we have a foam inside the foil. Inside a plastic bag, there are ice packs. Another ice pack. This was mailed yesterday, so those did pretty good. And the injection pens. That's it. 
I am going to go and use one of these though, right away. I'm gonna get that into my system. All right, I just dropped off her um, gift, my, the gift to Kaylee. And if I'm just right by Home Goods, I might as well go. I'm already out of my car. But I'm, to be fair, I need jeans. So I'm gonna make this lunch and like start to try on jeans. As you saw, I just treated myself to some flowers. I can't reach them, they're down on the floor now. Um, from Trader Joe's, and I ran into the dollar store to grab some paper supplies for my sister's baby shower. I'm trying to limit the amount of things that I have to do and go to when I get there. Because <laughs> I literally, schedule-wise, I'm gonna have like an hour and a half to two hours once I get into town for my sister's baby shower. <laughs> so. Anyway, I, I'm trying to do as many things as I can. Um, back at Target for today's Tuesday. How many times have I come to Target in a week? I've lost track. But we forgot a few things at the store yesterday. We were literally just here yesterday, Jason and I. We were here last night. I am out of cottage cheese because I'm going to use what I have. The, the cottage cheese that I have, um, I think it froze along the back panel of the fridge. And so now it doesn't have like the little curdles in it. You know what I mean? It still is good. Like it t still tastes fine. But I think I'm going to use that one when I get home to make my ranch dip. So I'm going to blend it all up so that it doesn't really matter that there's no little curdles in it. Um, and then I just have a few other things to get here at Target that we forgot yesterday. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to run home because then I will only have like an hour and a half before the kids get home from school. And I kind of just want to do nothing. <laughs> I just want to put my flowers out, light a candle, and maybe even turn on a movie and just sit. Just sit. We don't have any plans tonight. The kids have a service project for church, but I'm kind of betting that they're going to be really, really tired. And the service project is supposed to be outdoor yard work, and it's starting to rain right now. So I don't, I get the whole point of service. <laughs> But I also like to protect my kids and keep them safe and um, dry and rested. So I might just keep them home. <laughs> All right, just got home. One thing I actually really love doing is like putting flowers together. And like, I don't know, it's really fun for me. So I got a um, bunch of hydrangeas and then I got a bunch of eucalyptus and I've actually never gotten eucalyptus before but I'm actually hoping that this like dries because they're really pretty and they smell amazing for right now. Oh, they smell so good. It's just like a subtle like fresh smell. Um, so I'm going to put my last little bunch of these in. I was going to maybe like do a separate little one for the front table but this one just looks so cute. I already, already added the water to it. I just wanted to show you what I was going to do. So I've got this little tray. I think I'm going to light that candle. I'm going to kind of move that around. Look how cute. See, this kind of screams like, don't make a mess on my counter. This is not a storage area. That, right? Like... <laughs> I also got Jason a little pack of root beer because he's had kind of a hard couple weeks. <laughs> he's kind of got the early like winter blues. We'll just say that. So this is what I did for myself to help me feel good. I don't have the winter blues or anything, but I just wanted to kind of treat myself when the kids went back to school. Kind of like that bunch up front more. And it's okay to treat yourself women. I actually don't like flowers from Jason and I think this is part of why because I like to choose, I'm controlling <laughs> if you haven't noticed, but I like to choose them. I like to go to the store. I like to pick the bunch. I like to smell them. I like to imagine where they're going to be in my home and then I like to like decorate and like how cute is this? I don't know. I just think it's really fun. I'm not really ready for the fall vibes yet, so I went with all white and neutrals, which is kind of fun. So maybe I'll try and get some of these leaves to kind of hang down. I do want to light that candle, but obviously the, 
<laughs> I didn't think about that. So maybe I can uh, pull that to the side a little bit. It probably is still, I don't know, we'll see. For now, it still is really, really cute. And I'm trying to get the vibes that like this is not an office right here. Keep on talking to me. Don't you leave me by myself. All right, so I went ahead and made my little ranch dip out of cottage cheese. This is the one that kind of froze, and actually it was just the top layer that had kind of lost its little curdles. Now in the bottom section, there's still some left in there. But I actually still might turn that one into more sauce because this dip is pretty good. I pulled out my little veggie tray, and I'm gonna go sit at my desk and edit and watch a movie it tastes pretty good. I mean, it has the same ranch taste as my other ranch, but it's just thicker like a dip. So it works for me and it's like way healthier. It's Chelsea. Your favorite child's home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I caught my favorite child. Yeah. I'm so glad. How are you doing? Oh, I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. Abby's home. Chelsea is home. Yep. Tired. Yeah. Don't fall asleep though. Why you won't go to bed tonight. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right. All right. So one of you actually just commented in the moment and said that you would love to know a little bit more about my planner. I wouldn't call it a planner. I would just, it is a planner, but it's not in the sense that you would think that everyone else does planners. And I want to, and I thought today would be a good day to just kind of quickly show you because I'm kind of just showing you what I am going to now do during my time. And this is quite literally what I was going to do next. I do have a movie starting, who is Aaron Carter. So I am going to try and sit down and watch that. Um, but I just wanted to show you some of this stuff. It's private information. So I just wanted to kind of show you, um, in general, I don't do it by calendar. Like, I, I don't like planners where you fill out each day and then, like, either you check those days off or, or you know, then you have a list down the side for that week or whatnot. I don't do planners like that because that gives me anxiety. And that's because I my lists are based off of, like, the day, the week, um, and I just get it done when I can get it done. And I feel like when I used to do planners and I put something on a certain day, then if I, I move past that day, I felt like, oh, it doesn't belong on that day. Am I gonna look back at that day? And like, am I gonna get it done? Like, oh man. And then if it was like the 28th of the month and then I didn't get it done and then I moved to the next month, then I don't even see it. Then the calendar has flipped and I'm now into the next month of September. And uh, anyway, I stopped doing calendar planning um, and doing these list planning um, just to keep the list as it is. And I decorate per holiday season, how I feel, what motivation I need, travel plans. You guys know I have really fun travel packing lists and planning lists and all and you know even like itinerary lists that I do when I travel so I am just gonna kind of give you a little bit of behind the scenes of how I that's that, that's the gist of how I make my list is that I just I, I decorate the page and I'll show you I decorate the page and then I put the little boxes I have my little uh, what do you call it my stencil I have this little stencil can you see and down here there's actually a little calendar I can show you see how there's like a little calendar a little boxes down there so I use the, that little one of those little boxes as my checklist box um, and I put that I don't know 10 checklist boxes down the page I just do it a little bit at a time and then um, as things need to get done I write it on the list some things have dates and deadlines and due dates and things like that and try and keep those in order. Um, I, sometimes if things are very specific, I will make a separate list off to the side, like 
like I, I, I need to do for my sister's baby shower and for something else that I have coming up. And so I'm like separate lists for those things, like checklists, I gotta get this done and this done and this done. Um, so that they're separate from like my regular list. So that's kind of the, the basic idea of how I do it. Um, but as we go, I will show you kind of the supplies that I use to make my lists. And it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of fun. And it makes getting things done um, more appealing, I guess, when you have a fun thing to look at. And I, I love a good check mark. <laughs> I got it done. And especially when I'm near the end of my list. Um, let me see if there's anything on here that's like too personal. There's phone numbers for pharmacies. I was trying to find my prescription. <sighs> nope, I don't think so. We we're trying to get our passports as well, but no personal information is on this page. Okay, hang on, let me show you. So like when I get to the end of my list, like when I'm down here and I haven't checked things off this list and I have things up here that I haven't gotten done as well, I have to like really like highlight. I'm like, you gotta get these things done. And so I, start, I tend to highlight it. And usually the highlighting is done almost to the point where I'm gonna flip the page and it's kind of an alert to me like, okay, guess what? As soon as you can check these items off, we get to turn to a new page. <laughs> It's like a reward <laughs> if you know you know um and so i had done that i had three things that i had to get done i had to pay the credit cards i had to pay the school fees online i had to send out an evite for my sister's baby shower i had to get those things done um and so i highlighted them to get them like force myself to get them done so that's kind of what i do um and this is all stuff for our passports and whatnot so i'm gonna leave that on the list because i'm we can't do it for the next week or two um so i'm going to come back to it and i do come back um especially because that is going to be really important but i am going to flip to the new page all right some of the supplies i use are washi tape and then i have a bunch of stickers this is the one i'm going to look through to match i just got these ones from timu so i'm going to put them away but i'm also going to see if there's one that i want to maybe use from here before i put them away then I have a bunch of stickers in here. They're just like from the past couple years. Some of them are like generic actual planner stickers um, with calendars and to-do list items and things like that. And other stickers are holiday ones. This is all Christmas. Um, so it's just kind of, you know, random. This is what I look at at Hobby Lobby and Michael's when I go there is stickers and planner things. See, these are the kind of stickers that would be like in an actual planner, like the, this kind of stuff where you put it on like each calendar page, but I just don't do it like that. But anyway, I have a bunch of those lined up right here, but for the most part, my stickers are in here. I have like loose ones that I've gotten online like big packs like this these were like super cheap online um and then i've gotten a lot of them from you guys i've gotten a lot of hawaii ones from you guys hang on they're kind of stuck together but i've got like hawaii travel ones here i actually have one more where did it go i thought i had it i hadn't put it away yet it's in here somewhere and figure out where it is um, but I had just gotten that one and I haven't put it away yet so here's my stickers sometimes I get these sheets from um, like Hobby Lobby Michaels that kind of thing um, let me just see if there's anything else it's like a little bit different this is another pack from Amazon oh yeah this one is another one this one is like seasonal ones again um, so I'm not gonna do like fall um, what do you call it? Fall stickers quite yet? Cause it doesn't feel, I mean, it feels like it is today cause it's kind of cold, but we're only in August. <laughs> I know we're almost done with, uh, with August, but I just can't quite do fall yet. All right. Then my process is to look through the stickers, whatever season or holiday or just in general that I'm going to do and kind of pick out which stickers go where. And I tend to do like a big blocky sticker or a bunch of them here in the corner 
And then I do the washi tape down the side. Um, so I kind of pick out the color that goes with the stickers that I like. Or I find the color of washi tape that I want to use. And then I find the stickers that match that. Um, and then sometimes I do like a little something here or something here in the corner. I think I'm going to have some separate lists on this side um, for our upcoming travel. So I'm going to have some room over here that I'm going to leave. Um, so I can't decide if I'm going to put stickers on either side. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here's what I have so far. A little let's go on an adventure. I kind of like the globe thing because it's kind of like back to schooly without being like red, yellow, and blue. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then I did the yellow washi tape. And then look how cute this little sticker is. And then look how cute this little sticker is. I am very busy. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. There's like a little bird on it. And then I added a little heart sticker here. I do feel like it needs something here, maybe a little something here to kind of soften that side up. So I'm gonna look through my stickers here, like flowers or things like that, that I can add to kind of give it some flair. How was it? Good. <laughs> you got you tired? Yeah. Did you get rained on coming home? Is it rainy out there? Yeah. How tired are you? Not that tired. Not that tired? Awake enough for a play date? Have you yeah. already you already planned it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ella's mom's like, all right, they're gonna ask the second they get home. They've already been planning it. Yeah. Yeah. Go get your lunchbox emptied. Have anything that's left in it as a snack. I don't have anything. You ate it all? Yeah. Did you pack good things in your lunch this morning? And veggie box and granola bars and Oreos. Like all, all I can bad. tell. Yeah, I can <laughs> tell you had a lot of Oreos. Only like did seven. You, did you make yourself a sandwich at all? No. Okay, if you're gonna be in fifth grade, you have to be more responsible with your I'm lunches. I'm too lazy to. That, uh, yes. This is the first day. I don't. Okay, would you like to eat a sandwich now, or are you not hungry? I'll take you over there as soon as you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, go empty your lunch bag out. Put it in the kitchen. Yeah. In the closet, ready mm -hmm. for tomorrow. Okay. 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 Would you be embarrassed if I got a sweatshirt to match you? What would it say on it? To exactly. your mom? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, it literally just says it's squad cheer. It what literally is. It, I don't. No, it wouldn't have my name on it. I cheer could. Mom. I could get cheer mom put on it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> actually, I would actually. <laughs> yeah. I am a chair mom now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go d take care of your lunchbox. Yeah. But your first day of school was good? Yeah. Loved having two friends in class. Yeah. Correct? Worked out pretty good? Were you guys too chatty or are you okay? I'm good. You're good? Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the same bus driver. I didn't Except show. Except for he was 20 minutes late, so kind of isn't off to a good start. What do you mean? Oh, coming home? Yeah, we had to stay in the rain. Oh, yeah, you are late. I didn't even realize what time it was. I'm sorry. He was late coming back to the school. Why didn't we get an alert from the... Okay, go get ready. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing fancy on this one. I just added one little sticker as like a little flag on that side and then added my boxes and now it is ready to go for a list. Like I said, if I ever um, add a separate list, I will just do like another sticker similar to like like this one or like a to-do or something like that. And then I'll just add more boxes down below that as a new list. Usually I do that for like like parties or events or things that I'm gonna go do that are completely separate. So kind of, in fact, I should probably do that for the passport <laughs> system that, that we have to like figure out. I've got all of our passport and all the applications and such in a folder here. I've got it so organized. Obviously I can't show you because it's all of our private information. The process. I spent all afternoon on Sunday filling out all the forms, getting all the documents, photocopying all the documents, putting them all with each individual person's application. Man, it was just such a process. And then the only time that all six of us can go and get the actual passports is on a Sunday from 11 a.m. till noon. It's walk-in time only because the other times that the post office has appointments at, are all during school. I should have done it during during the, the summer. I just couldn't like wrap my head around it 
and it probably wouldn't have mattered because Kaylee and Abby's work schedules were literally like back to back. Like one would get off at two and the other one would work at three. So like there was never ever like a good window where we could have done it. Anyway, but we have to get on that. So we, we, we got all that prepped. We're gonna go and get our photos taken at EPS, I think, very soon. We are just gonna ditch out on church one Sunday and just hightail it to the post office and sit in line because we gotta get going on that. I am probably gonna end here with you guys because I'm gonna take Ashley to a play date for probably about two hours so we can get home and have a normal dinner time and she probably needs to shower and just go to bed on time. She's, got, she's the only one I worry about getting to bed on time. Everyone else has gotten to the age where they self-regulate and put themselves to bed. Chelsea's probably asleep right now, but I know that she'll be able to put herself back to sleep when it's time to go to bed. Abby is excellent. So I know that Ashley will get to it eventually. <laughs> and maybe this week of school will catch up to her and she'll actually start being tired at night for the first time in like, I don't know, a couple years. <laughs> we'll see. I just wanted to show you more my side of the day that I have kind of been doing. I don't know what to do going forward. <laughs> by my time it's back to these days of mainly me you know in these videos what do you guys want me to bring to a video like someone today like just they commented and they were like we, I'd love to see your planner so it was a great like add-in I couldn't do a whole video about that but it was a great add-in to my day today so what do you guys think I should do for a video or talk about or like what kinds of things do you want to learn about me or what kinds of things do you want to learn about that you have seen me doing or seen the girls doing or something you know, even Jason, like, I know this is a female channel, but we all like Jason. We, <laughs> so anything he can do and show you, he does have a few days off during the week so he can bring you stuff as well. So leave any ideas down below if you're curious about things or if you're, if you're new, like, I know I need to kind of do an overhaul, not an overhaul. I need to straighten up my craft room back here. I don't show you that too often. So if you're new, that's how my channel started, was crafting and I don't do it anymore. I've just shifted the craft projects to my 10 year old. <laughs> so anything that you're interested in um, learning about or whatnot, let me know in the comments down below because now I'm back to my days alone, three days a week, and then I am with Jason two days a week while the kids are all in school, so. And we have rain outside. That is just normal here in the Northwest. It was like, all right, we're gonna go to school. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain for the next nine months. It's not, but it will for the rest of the week. So take care, we'll see you guys next time. Easy. Tiptoe